Hundreds of drivers and operators of Transport Network Vehicle Service or TNVS braved the intense heat and crowds at the LTFRB offices in Quezon City just to secure franchises. They are complaining that the process is slow and the policy is unclear. For instance, after lining up for a whole day, an applicant will be asked to come back with additional requirements that were not previously stated like proof of garage or certificate of good standing from a transport network company. Maliwanag naman po siguro na kami ay nagpo-comply. Ngunit may pabago-bago pong uh, gustong mangyari o pinapatupad ang LTFRB. So saan po kami doon lulugar? That's why on Monday, groups of TNVS drivers and operators plan to go on a transport holiday. They said TNVS groups from Cebu and Bacolod will also join in the protest. They warned passengers that it might be difficult to book a ride between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pasensya na po kayo, ginagawa lamang po nila ito dahil darating po ang panahon na kahit wala po tayong transport holiday, no, kung mananatili yan, mga pahirap policing yan, wala nang mag-TTNBS. Wala tayong masasakyan, hindi isang araw, kung hindi forever. The groups also plan to file a complaint at the ombudsman against LTFRB officials for violating the ease of doing business law. They said it takes at least a month to be able to secure provisional authority or a franchise when the law states that similar requests should be addressed within 20 working days. But the LTFRB said there is nothing irregular with their procedures. Kung meron pong problema sa mga ganon, hindi natin nadadaan sa mga ganong klaseng salita na ang gusto nyo mangyari, ipipirwisyo nyo yung mananakay. The groups warned that the transport strike could last for as long as five days. For its part, Grab has asked its partners to refrain from doing drastic acts that could only inconvenience passengers. For News 5, Gerard de la Peña, We Are One News.